so I wanted to make a quick vlog. This will be a little shorter than my other ones, but um, I wanted to talk about the sheep mentality. Um, you may ask, what, is, what does that mean? A sheep mentality, think of it like an individual that doesn't really think on their own and their default is to just go with the herd right that means you don't really have stolid opinions of your own you are more inclined to just go the direction that most people go say the things that most people say entertain the things that most people entertain that's what sheep mentality means and the reason why i'm mentioning this is because it, it ties into being creative and it ties into being yourself um in and out of church, school, work, this is very, very common. Um, I don't believe everybody comes to this world a leader in every capacity, right? Everybody just will serve different roles in this, in this lifetime, and that's perfectly fine. But I do think it's important to be able to think on your own and stand on your own opinions, you know? I think that I had a great example of that in my home personally because um, it's one thing to question things and it's another to just kind of go with the flow because it's easier. And that's kind of really what I want to touch on is that most of the time it's safer to just agree with everybody. It's safer to do what everybody else is doing. Um, you'll gain more friends by being a go along to get along. Um, personally, I experienced that. I experienced many times at school, especially when we would have class discussions about things, I would be all by myself being like, no, I don't agree. And that's okay, right? It wasn't like, you know, I, I was trying to just stand out. It's just It just happens that when you think outside the box, you're going to stand out. And people don't like that. Um, people may call you weird and strange and, you know, why are they like that and things like that because you're not, you don't have a sheep mentality. You are able to look outside of things and consider different variables. A good example. Um, most people don't, a lot of people don't know how to compliment a person without being kind of backhanded about it. You know, like, let's say you pass your driving, driving test and someone says to you, oh, you passed it? Like, by how much? He's like, oh, I passed it with just five points, um, you know, margin. And they go, oh, really? I got a perfect score. But I'm glad you passed. I'm glad you passed. You know, I mean, it wasn't that hard for me, you know. Took you a few tries, but you got it. You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> that That's like a backhanded thing. And... If you're not able to think outside the box, <laughs> you won't be able to see things like that. And that's how it is a lot of times. Um, you will be liked easier when you just go with the herd. And sometimes if you're, if you wonder like, I wonder, do I have a, do, if you wonder, do I have a sheep mentality? Just take a step back. You could look at the, the very small things like um, what influences you? Um, what kind of conversations do you have when you're with your friends and family? Um, are you very, very agreeable to everything? You know, um, there's aspects to having a sheep mentality that is actually good, like not being always so resistant. But in the context of which I'm speaking, you have to be able to stand on your own thoughts. And for the most part, when it comes to living this natural life, we all just have different viewpoints on different things, and that's okay. You get what I'm saying? It's okay to have different perspectives on different things, um, because that's normal. Uh, the way I decide to dress, the way I look at fashion as a as someone that leans into, of course, modest fashion as well, you know, the way I look at that is not the way you look at that, right? but it still falls under that umbrella, right? 
and even with uh, particularly I grew up with sisters so I'm very familiar with modest to stick on that subject I'm very familiar with modest fashion for on the woman's side and what they go through and there is that thing that so many sisters they don't know how to navigate having a unique style while being modest so what they do by default is find somebody that they think looks modest and dress like them or put somebody at a pinnacle so you can look at how they dress how that person dress and say oh you got you get it from them you do your you you tie your hair the way they do their hair they start doing something with their head wrap you start doing the same thing and it's not necessarily a bad thing to to gain to get inspired but you have to know at, you have to measure it for yourself how much of who i am is someone else <laughs> Like, that's a very important thing to consider. And it's very obvious. For people that can can think broadly and, and have a very broad thought process on things, it's very visible. It's visible when you use the same kind of language that a person uses. It is visible when you dress a certain way that other people dress. It's visible when you you say the same things and have the same beliefs about everything because it's kind of like it's, it's easier to fit a mold of another person than to discover who you are and what makes you special. That's why most a lot of people probably won't understand what that means when I say you have to figure out what makes you unique because maybe to them it's like, well, what, we're all humans. You know what I'm saying? But they, can't, they, they don't have the ability to think larger because of that sheep mentality. You see what I'm saying? Because when you're so used to just going with what everybody does and you're, you're swept with every trend, you're you're just you're in kind of like a a fog you know what i'm saying and I, I i that's why i made this video i want you to take the time to look at yourself and just pick out different things and ask yourself am i just copying and just agreeable to all kinds of things or am i really standing in my own thoughts and opinions about different things because that's that's important to being a actualized person is that you are you in all those aspects you're not a compilation of someone else does that make sense <laughs> so um i hope you understand what i meant by that and uh yeah th that's very 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 common it's very common that people just kind of their whole identity is just copy and paste you know, because it's so much easier to just copy a person than to do the work to find out well, who am I? Uh, what do I like? You know, there are things that I like that very, very much align with another person. But at least at its, at its origin, I thought of it. You see what I'm saying? I didn't take cues from other people and take on their entire identity almost and take on their entire thoughts almost because it's very obvious when you're trying to almost mimic a person to the T and no matter what context that falls in I, 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 I stay away from people like that because when you're not around people that in a, for the lack of better words are a leader of their own mind in a sense it, you, you just you, you don't you don't go up you just stay flat you know what i'm saying so yeah it's, it's an interesting conversation but comment down below if you have questions about that but it's real yeah okay <laughs>